Hello everyone, Panda here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be discussing the new Twitch cheering system, which is an inbuilt, in-stream way of tipping and donating money to the streamers that you watch on Twitch.tv without using PayPal and without using Twitch alerts and other things like this. We'll talk more about this. So Twitch announced this yesterday and then rolled it out on a select group of channels, quite big channels, uh, to test this system out and see how it goes. And people have got quite mixed results on it. First of all, we're just going to talk about what this system is really. So the system's called cheering and the way that you do it is you buy a digital currency from Twitch, you go onto Twitch and you pay money to receive bits. You can then use these bits to cheer in channels. So you just type in the chat, cheer and the number and you then give the streamer this amount of bits which will then translate into money on their paycheck. Now I have seen quite a lot of people compare the way that they're doing this to the way that MyFreeCams and other websites do this. And honestly, there's a reason that my free cams and stuff uses the token system rather than straight up donations from PayPal. And I'm going to try and explain that and explain why. So first of all, I'm just going to have a little look at the exchange rates here and how much your money is worth in bits. So the highest denomination that you can buy is 25,000 bits and that costs you $369. So at $369 for 25,000, you're paying $1 for 67 bits. Okay, keep that in mind. But that is with the 12% discount for buying such a huge amount. If you want to buy it without a discount, which the maximum you can do is 500, you're gonna be getting 59 bits per dollar. So you're actually getting eight more bits per dollar if you are buying the massive big dick one. Of course, that is ridiculous. I'm sure a lot of people are not gonna buy that one. $369 is a ton of money. However, if you are someone who's gonna donate a lot of bits to a stream and it does happen, then you know that's what you're gonna to want to go for. So why have Twitch invented this? Why have they put this system on here and what are they going to get out of it really? Now, I think that for streamers, this is an appealing thing because there are a lot of real problems, honestly, with taking PayPal donations and donations all through PayPal. When you give money to someone with PayPal, especially on Twitch where it's a donation where you're not actually receiving a product back from it, but when you give them this money, you have the ability through PayPal to recall your money. So I could go to a stream tomorrow, hypothetically, give them $1,000 and then the next day call it back and have that $1,000 back in my account. Therefore the streamer has gone, oh shit, $1,000. Everyone in the stream has gone, oh shit, $1,000. And you know, the person's got a bunch of attention and then they can just recall the donation. And this is rampant on Twitch. This happens all the time to a lot of streamers and it can cause quite a lot of complications. Casey Tron, a streamer that I regularly watch, that I really enjoy, recently had her PayPal shut down for a few weeks because of people sending in so many donations and then refunding them, PayPal looked at her account and went, look, this is high risk. This is freaking us the hell out. You know, what the hell's going on with all this money? We're going to shut down your account and we're going to hold all of your funds for 180 days. Now, she did manage to get her account back, but I know several other people who have had this issue and they've not got their accounts back. Their PayPal has been taken away. It's been shut down. The money that's been kept in there has been kept by PayPal. They don't get it, you know? That's just the end of the system. So by Twitch introducing the tiering system, they've made a safe way of people donating to streamers and a safe way of streamers receiving money and tips without the risk involved. When you buy bits, you need to use your Amazon wallet and you have to use a credit or a debit card for that currently. They've said they are going to look at more payment methods, but currently those that's the only way that you can do it. So if you want to buy bits, you're going to be using a credit card and there's going to be less risk involved for Twitch. So then once you've bought the currency, it's there in your account. You don't just donate it straight to a streamer. You buy the bits, it's attached to your Twitch account. You can then go into any stream and say, any partnered stream, I must say, and say, here, have 100 bits. Here, have 100,000 bits. Now, what are the benefits of a person, a viewer, donating with bits rather than just PayPal? Well, Twitch has come up with an interesting system, a chat badge system, that upgrades the more bits that you give. The current system, keep in mind, it's only just rolled out, so it could change, but the current system, there are six different chat badges. You get a badge next to your name if you donate one bit. There's a different badge for 100, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, and 100,000 bits. Now, if you want that 100,000 bit chat badge, and I did see some people with Twitch on it yesterday, believe it or not, you're going to have to lay down $1,492 into Twitch. So basically 1.5 grand to be able to have this little icon next to your name. Now, of course, it's not just the icon. You are giving the bits to the streamer. So you're tipping 
the streamer, so you've got to understand that. However, how is Twitch making any money out of this? Why are they doing this? Well, we're going to have to have a little look at that now. So why did Twitch adopt the system? Why did they create the system? What are they going to get out of it that they weren't getting before when people were receiving donations through PayPal? Which people have been doing for years and years, even before Twitch was a thing when it was just in TV. PayPal has been used to send money across the internet for the longest time. So, Twitch has got to get something out of this, right? Right. So, one streamer yesterday that has been enrolled in this program, one of the select group, said this on stream. Now, this is completely unsubstantiated. I don't know if this is official or true, or if they're going to change it, but he did say that Twitch takes 29% of the bits. So, when you spend $100 to buy bits, Twitch instantly takes $30 of that away. So, then you're provided with bits worth $70, okay? That cut takes place when you purchase the bits, okay? You can then go and spend the bits on whoever's channel you want. You just go into the chat, type it in the chat, drop some cheers on people, drop some bits on people. Okay, so 29%, what do we think about that? 29% is obviously basically a third. It's a lot, it's a huge percentage, but we all already know, or I would say most people already know, that when you have a subscription button on Twitch, Twitch is by default taking 50% of this. Now this can become a better ratio, the more subscribers you have, the more popular you are. Twitch will cut you a better deal. Some streamers, I believe, have a deal where they get $4 and Twitch takes $1. So that's obviously an 80% cut rather than a 50% cut. But basic people, like myself, we're on a 50% cut. So that's already, they're already taking 50% on all subscriptions. So for them to take 30% on chairs and bits, I can understand that that is slightly high, but also compared to... The amount that they're taking on subs, it's not a huge ratio, you know, it's not a huge percentage. But it is there. So why are they taking this much? What are they providing to take this much? Well, they're providing a safe way for people to donate via credit card or via their Amazon wallet to streamers and have the streamers receive this money and know that this money is safe. That this is going to go into their Twitch paycheck, which is then going to come out and, you know, go into their bank account at the end of the month. And they know that there's security there, that they're not going to get fucked over, their PayPal's not going to, you know, get hacked or get shut down, etc, etc. But is Twitch providing enough services for this huge percentage? At the end of the day, what are they offering? They are offering the chat badges, which I think is a great system. There's a few streams that I'm going to go into that I'm definitely going to have a little cheer chat badge next to my name in. Uh, that I'm quite looking forward to. But they also have made the system, along with the chat badges, where you can give the cheers in the chat, which is a little GIF animation, and you can see that happening. So when people do donate, it pops up immediately, you see it there, bam. So that is basically what Twitch is offering for the cut that they're taking. Now, I'm not sure if the 29% cut is true. Please don't, you know, base anything on that. That's just what I heard. However, if it is true, I don't think it's the end of the world. I think at the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of streamers who would switch over to a full cheer system just so that they don't have to fuck around with PayPal. I think that not fucking around with PayPal at all and any of that stuff would actually be quite a relief. I'm saying this about big streamers. Now, streamers like myself, not a huge streamer, somebody who gets 100 to 200 views a stream, the cheer system I will use alongside the normal Twitch Alerts donation system. Now, currently the only way to buy bits is with a debit card. Now, I know a lot of people don't have a debit or credit card and they can't do this, so I think PayPal transactions are still going to be a thing for at least a long time until they, I don't know if they're going to implement some way that you can buy Twitch bits with PayPal somehow. That would be interesting and I think a lot of people would enjoy that. I think one interesting thing to know about the bit system is the pooling. Say you go and want to go to a streamer and donate to them and use PayPal. That is money coming straight out of PayPal going straight to that streamer. However, on Twitch, you can buy 10,000 bits and then you have those bits in your account. You know, they're sitting there. You've then transferred your money into this currency. Basically, like, Riot Points or whatever in League of Legends. This is now your money, okay? Your money's gone. You now have these points. Now, you can go and give these points to whoever you want. Say you've got a 1,000 bits in your Twitch account and you go and watch a stream and someone is hilarious. You go into a stream, it's a new person you've not seen before and they do something amazing and you want to tip them 100 bits. You just want to go, bam, that was super fucking funny. Here, here's 100 bits. That's not something that was going to happen before. Before, it was a much more strenuous system. We've actually got to go to an external website, type in a message, log into PayPal, click the pay button, click confirm, da 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 da. Now it's instant, just instant gratification. I want to send some cheer, bam, send some money. The streamer now has that money. I no longer have that money. That is the transaction done. 
I actually think it's a pretty good system. I think it's probably going to promote a lot more people to actually spend money on Twitch and donate money on Twitch. I do believe that the percentage is a little bit, a little bit wanky. Maybe they will change it over time. This is, of course, the beta period. That's why only a select number of channels will have it. But soon, all partner channels are going to have this bit system optional. Keep in mind, it's optional. You can turn it on or off in your channel. So if you hate the idea, you hate the idea of Twitch taking a percentage of it, you can just disable it and just use PayPal donations. There's no issue there. You don't have to worry about that. You know, there's no issue. So if you see some channels that don't have it enabled, that's fine. That's their personal prerogative. I think it's good that Twitch have given them a choice of whether to use cheering or the other way, or I guess combine both of them. So I think that's going to wrap it up. A little bit of a discussion here. Let me know what you think. Do you think that the 30% is too much? If that is the official thing, keep in mind, I've said a million times, that it might not be. If not, we'll see. But what do you think would be a reasonable percentage? Keep in mind that Twitch is, you know, they're going to take something out of this. They're not going to give it all to the streamer. They're adding functionality to their website. They've also got, you know, new back-end stuff for paying here. You know, it's going to cost them some money. It's not going to cost them a huge amount of money. It's not going to cost them 30% of each donation. But what do you think? What would be a reasonable percentage? And if you had money and you wanted to donate to a streamer, would you want to use the cheer system or and get like a chat badge? Or would you want to use PayPal and just send it straight through to them and they receive it? And that's that. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'm going to go give some streamers some... Uh, Twitch internet currency. Have a fantastic day, guys. Panda out.